Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I am back making bookish videos hopefully for quite a while to come. I just felt that 2020 got to be way too much and I just needed a break. I did get let go from my job due to what's happening in the world. I've been going through some personal things in my family and it just got to be way too much. I was just like, I need to step back. I need to reevaluate some things. And um, yeah, I just needed to take care of my mental health. So now that that feels semi under control, I wanted to do something that would bring me joy again. And that is booktube. And what better way to get back into the game than by doing my December TBR. December is my favorite month of the year because I am a Christmas whore. I love everything about Christmas. And I cannot wait to share with you guys what I plan on reading. Both of the dogs have currently joined me. The black one on the bed is Dina and the tail that you see on the floor is Tucker. They would not stop barking so they're confined to the room while I'm filming this video. So that's enough of me rambling. Now let's get into my December TBR. So for the month of December my book club is doing a Christmas themed challenge and as mentioned earlier, all about the Christmas life. So I decided I had to jump on board and do this. And they have provided a list of different prompts that you can fulfill to help your team earn points. First prompt is to read a buddy read. And for this, I chose A Mistletoe and Mr. Right by Sarah Morgenthaler. This is the second book in the Moose Springs, Alaska series. I read the first book in November and stay tuned for my November wrap up to hear thoughts on it. But Lana is someone who is very much not appreciated in Moose Springs. She is wealthy and the people in Moose Springs are more down to earth kind of humble people. So Lana is determined to make the most out of her time in Moose Springs and she decides the best way to get locals on her side is to track down this Santa Moose which is a Grinch just hell-bent on destroying Christmas. This moose is terrorizing the town and something needs to be done. From there she accidentally tranquilizes a guy named Rick who made an appearance in book one and he hasn't been having the best time lately but she enlists his help to find this moose and it's just their story going from there. In book one I was not Lana's biggest fan so hopefully this book will change my perception of her. The next book is to read a holiday or winter book and for this I chose Better Not Pout by Annabeth Albert. I believe this is an MM romance and I'm just going to read to you guys what it's about because it sounds adorable. So it says one hard-nosed military police officer, one overly enthusiastic elf, one poorly timed snowstorm. Right there is everything I need to know. It sounds absolutely amazing but it goes on. Is it a recipe for disaster or a once in a lifetime opportunity for holiday romance? Teddy McNally loves Christmas and everything that goes along with it. Hey, hey Teddy. When he plays an elf for his charity's events, he never expects to be paired with a Scrooge masquerading as Santa Claus. His new mission, make the holiday hating soldier believe he was born to say ho, ho, ho. Sergeant Major Nicholas, can't say his last name, doesn't do Santa, but he's army to his blood. When his CO asks an unusual favor, Nick of course obliges. The elf to his Kris Kringle? Tempting. Too tempting. Nick's only in town for another month, and Teddy's too young, too cheerful, and too nice for a one night stand. The next prompt is most anticipated and I've had this book on my radar and on my shelves for what seems like an eternity but I keep putting it off for whatever reason but that is Act Like It by Lucy Parker. So we are following the story of Richard and Lainey and they are both actors in London. Richard has this bad boy reputation and I believe he begins to date Lainey to kind of you know boost his character. Um, so I think there's fake dating in here, which I'm all about. Love that trope. And yeah, I cannot wait to finally read this book. To fulfill the prompt of Gifted to You, I have chosen to read His Holiday Crush by Kari Z. This was given to me by NetGalley. You see what I did there? Clever. I know, right? And it follows the story of workaholic Max, who hasn't been to his hometown in about 10 years. He has a lot of bad memories there, and he just doesn't want to go home and rehash them. 
but his friend has recently gone through a divorce and is now the single parent to two small girls. And the girls kind of trick Max into making the journey, and before he gets to his final destination, his car collides with a snowbank. Enter former Army Sergeant Dominic Nikki Bell. Now, I believe Nikki is Max's friend's brother, so the friend that kind of asked Max to come home for the holidays. And Nikki has always had a huge crush on Max, and they get stranded together, and this is just their romance. It is another M.M. romance set during the holiday season. What more can a girl ask for? For the prompt of released in 2020, I chose Revenge Cake. This is by Skylar Mason, and it is another NetGalley book. I'm trying to get my percentage up there on NetGalley, so hopefully I can find some new and exciting reads in 2021. This book seems like a second chance romance between Logan and Lelaney. I believe Logan left her and kind of broke her heart, and it's just their story going from there. The description is kind of vague, so I think I am going to go into this one blind and see how it goes from there. For the challenge I'm doing in December, we have team leaders, and the next prompt is to choose a book recommended by a team leader, and I chose The Last Letter by Rebecca Yeros. I have been warned that this will make me cry, and I'm not a crier in books unless something happens to the dog or the cat or the goldfish. If anything bad happens to an animal or if they even get like a sideways glance, I am in tears with my box of tissues right there. However, this one seems like it might do the trick. It is super long. So more character development and plot to enjoy. And it follows the story of Ryan, who was actually in the military. I'm not sure what branch, um, but Ryan writes a last letter to his friend. And I don't know his friend's name. I could look on Goodreads, but my phone is low on battery. Anyway, so Ryan writes this letter to his friend and he's asking him, hey, if you're reading this letter, that means that, you know, I passed away and my sister is currently raising children on her own. She's lost everyone in her life. Can you please go and check in on her and help her out the best you can? And so this is Ryan's friend and his sister Ella's yeah, Ella's story. And it seems heart wrenching. I'm kind of getting emotional a little bit, just a little. Turns out it was just sinuses. So we're good. So along with the buddy read, we do two discussion books in the book club every single month. The next prompt is to read one of the discussion books. And this book, I have been waiting to read it for so incredibly long ever since it came out, which was really not that long ago. But you have to realize that the hype surrounding this book has been going on for it seems like all of 2020. And with everyone getting early copies on NetGalley, and then finally getting it when I went to the store back in October, I think, and then finally reading it in December, I am freaking excited. And the book is In the Holidays by Christina Lauren. You guys, they finally released a romance book and I hope I love it. I adored The Unhoneymooners. I also read Rumi or Rumi's this year. I really liked that one. I read my favorite Half Night Stand. That was decent, but I really liked these two as a writing duo and they released a Christmas book. I feel like all of my Christmas wishes have finally come true most of them. Still looking for that job. Okay, anyway. Ahem. Okay, let's read. It's the most wonderful time of year, but not for Maylin Jones. She's living with her parents, hates her going nowhere job, and has just made a romantic error of epic proportions. But perhaps worst of all, this is the last Christmas May will be at her favorite place in the world, the snowy Utah cabin where she and her family have spent the holidays every year since she was born, along with two other beloved families. Mentally melting down as she drives away from the cabin for the final time, May throws out what she thinks is a simple plea to the universe. Please show me what will make me happy. The next thing she knows, tires screech and metal collides and everything goes black. But when May gasps awake, she's on an airplane bound for Utah, where she begins the same holiday all over again. So that is In a Holiday's definitely bumping it to the top of my reading list. The next prompt is to read a book recommended by a teammate. And for this, I chose Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. This is about a missed connection and a couple's second chance at love 15 years later. 
she said she was really excited that I chose this one because not a lot of people talk about it and I've never heard of this book so I'm really excited to get to this one and see what I think. The next prompt is to read the shortest book on your TBR and for me that is A Kiss at Midnight by Jay Nicole. The description says, New Year's Eve is not complete without a midnight kiss. Unfortunately for Kayla, she's at her company New Year's Eve party, dateless. After the party, she ends up in an empty elevator with her co-worker, Ben, and she gets her kiss. Well, they do Monday morning, though. Act as if nothing happened or try their luck with an office romance. Yes, please. Holiday romance? Check, check, and check. Like, I'm really excited about this one. It is super short, and it has really great reviews on Goodreads. Two more prompts left to go. The first is to read a graphic novel, and for this, I'm revisiting one of my favorites, and that is Saga Volume 1. If you have not read this yet, please, please read it. Please. It is so incredibly good. It is basically like a Romeo and Juliet retelling set in space. These two main characters are from different species and they cannot be together, but hey, they are together. They got married, they had a child, and now they are being hunted down. One of their hunters is someone called the Will, and he has his faithful companion, Lion Cat, and they are my two favorite characters ever in a graphic novel series. I love them so much, and I just love this series so much. So if you haven't read it, get on it. And the final prompt for the December challenge is to read a book that has been on your TBR the longest. And for that, we are going to my TBR jar, which is actually not a jar at all. It is a canister. And it's a canister of tea that my dad brought back from Turkey when he was there in the 1980s. And yeah, I just recently discovered it and put my TBR books in. So yeah, it's great. So quite a while ago, I added a bunch of romance novels to this canister and we are now going to draw one and see what book I'm going to be reading that has been on my TBR the longest and I hope it's not a bad one so for another challenge that we did with the book club I actually chose out of this jar and I chose kiss the sky um and I hated that book so much <laughs> guys don't hate me if you if you loved it but it was not for me I did not like kiss the sky okay I think I got one so we're gonna see what it is I might have already read it because I know I have some Mariana Zapata in here that I have already read. And I mean, it's full. Like, I just haven't taken out the books that I've already read. But let's see what it is. Oh, I have, okay. I have not read it. It's Sustained by Emma Chase. So I will be reading that. Or if it is part of a series, um, I will be picking up the first book in that series. I have never read anything by Emma Chase. So I'm really excited to get to this one. Now, if that weren't enough books for my TBR, Goodreads has recently published this list of Christmas recommendations. And they also have Hanukkah and a New Year's Eve book which is already listed in this video. That's where I found that book. And I decided that I wanted to write some of those recommendations down. Hopefully I can get to them. I did read 27 books in November. So either December is going to be disastrous and I'm not going to read anything, or it's going to be on the same momentum as November. But I plan on taking that list and putting them in a vessel similar to this. And if I finish my prompts for my December challenge, then I'll start drawing from that vessel, jar, canister, whatever I choose to use. Shoo. I don't know. That's it, guys. We are officially at the end of my December TBR. I want to know what you guys are planning on reading in the month of December. I want to know if you guys read a lot of the same genre around the holidays. I typically gravitate towards romance or Christmas books. I know some of my friends are all about the fantasy in December. Cozy times, you know, snuggling up with a blanket and getting lost in a new world. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you have not done so already. I plan on being back very, very soon with my November wrap up, which will probably be split into two parts because I read so many damn books. However, if today goes like I want it to go, I'm going to film today. And sorry, guys, not sorry. It is really cold here. This shirt is very, very comfy. And I want to pre-film some videos. So you might be seeing this shirt again. Hopefully, Dina and Tucker will be haved and I can let them out of my room because all throughout this video she has just been giving me major stink eye. I don't know how good of an editing job I'm going to do cutting that out of this video. So yeah, she looks kind of mad right now. Can't even look at me. Anyway, 
done. I said I was going to stop rambling and I didn't. So you know what, guys? I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.